So, now we will see variable acceleration, variable acceleration and uniform acceleration. So, now we have to see what are the differences between these two. Now, see in, in uniform acceleration, when the body changes its velocity by equal amounts in equal intervals of time, then it is said to be in uniform acceleration, whatever the however the small time intervals may be. Now, in uniform acceleration, magnitude and direction of acceleration remains constant with the time, it does not change at all. Now, see in variable acceleration, here velocity is changing, but at the same time velocity change in may be in magnitude or direction or in both, then we call acceleration is variable. So, just like we have done the variable speed and variable sorry uniform speed, similarly we are doing here variable acceleration and uniform acceleration. Now, we will come to here the V t graph, suppose you have taken here V t graph that is a velocity time graph for this. See here, if you are taking graph like this, here this is V and this is T and the graph you are getting this, what type of the velocity is changing here? It is not changing equally. So, there is a simply non-uniform acceleration we can say that is a variable acceleration. Here we can take two points this and this, suppose this point is P and this point is Q, here time T 1 and time T 2 join this point here you will be getting a line and get its slope. We can take here this is r. So, here you will be getting corresponding this is your v 2 and v 1. So, here you will be getting q r is equal to v 2 minus v 1 and p r is equal to t 2 minus t 1. Now, see slope of this graph or this line you can say a is equal to v 2 minus v 1 upon t 2 minus t 1. This acceleration is known as average acceleration. So, here we calculate average acceleration. Now, if you take here this a is equal to delta v upon delta t change in velocity divided by change in time. Now, we can go for instantaneous acceleration. If you just take this time interval right here delta t tends to 0, then you can write a is equal to limit delta t tends to 0 delta v upon delta t is equal to dv upon dt. So, this is called here this whole thing this is here known as instantaneous acceleration. So, we have taken average acceleration, we have taken instantaneous acceleration. Now, you know acceleration is equal to change in velocity upon time interval. So, its unit is written here meter per second square and its dimensional formula you can also write m raised to power l, m raised to power 0, l raised to power 1, t raised to power minus 2 that will be coming here m 0 l 1 t raised to power minus 2 and see acceleration is also a vector quantity. So, it can be changed by changing its mag either magnitude or direction or both magnitude and direction. So, now we have seen here V t graph for the non-uniform acceleration, it means uh, that is a variable acceleration. 